Hello, everybody. Welcome. Fantastic to have you here. Thank you ever so much for tuning in to my Results Mastery Live. Um, what I'm going to do firstly is to respect your time. We're going to be about quarter of an hour and I'm going to hopefully provide you with some real value in that time. Today's subject is all about uh, if you're not making the money that you would like to make from your coaching business, then there's clearly a reason. Now, no doubt there's many reasons and many excuses that you and I could make. You know, it's the, it's the economy, it's the government, it's the competition, it's the this, it's the that. But the truth of the matter, I believe anyway, and this is something I picked up many years ago from a guy called Michael Gerber in his book, The E-Myth. And if you've not ever read that, then I strongly recommend you do. Um, he said that the fish stinks from the head down. <laughs> now, that's not a very nice metaphor, but it is true. You know, you're responsible for your business, whether you're a one person business or you've got, you know, multiple coaches or employees, a team of people, whatever it is. It's down to you and to me in my business ultimately to uh, either be successful or not or to have a level of success. But really, I want that level of success to be higher. So just to clarify what we're doing today, and I, I try to do this pretty much every day, but I have I must confess I've missed a couple of times uh, recently. But pretty much every day, Monday to Friday, I get myself on LinkedIn and I do this live session. Now, I stream it through something called StreamYard, which is a really cool piece of software that enables me to like, it's like buy one, get loads of others free. Uh, so uh, whilst we're right now, I'm on LinkedIn, it's also been streamed on Facebook, it's been streamed on YouTube, uh, it's also going out to uh, Amazon Music and out to iTunes and about 30 other streaming sites. You know, how cool is that? How amazing is it that we can do that? And this episode, like all my episodes right now, are being listened to by somewhere, it varies, but somewhere between about six and a half and eight thousand people. Can you believe that, guys? You know, this is somebody who's not like world famous. You know, I'm not Tony Robbins, you know. Uh, and um, But, you know, I, I can still attract that sort of uh, numbers, which is fantastic. And I'm saying that not to impress you, but to impress upon you that if I can do it, so can you. So, um, you know, that might be something for you to think about. So, why is it? Why aren't we more successful? And by the way, that is such a great question. You know, if you've got time this afternoon, sit down and, and you know, brainstorm with yourself or get your team together or at some point get with somebody who can coach and advise you. Because if, by the way, if you've not got a coach and you're a coach, for me, that means you don't believe in what you what you do. You know, uh, I've got several coaches in several areas of my business and I always have. And, you know, I'd include, you know, Tony Robbins as one of my coaches, one of the people that I've learned stuff from. And, um, you know, even though we've never met and he wouldn't know me from Adam, but he's still my coach because he coaches me on YouTube or wherever. So, um, you know, I've been to many of these workshops as well. So, um, yeah, so let's just, you know, get to grips with that as a, a concept to start with. But I want you to think about this question. What if I'm so good? You know, and a lot of people tell me, oh, yeah, you know, I'm a really good coach, you know, very conscientious. I love coaching. I love what I do. I'm passionate about it, but I'm not really making the money that I think I deserve to. And, uh, you know, why is that then? That's the question. If you're so great at what you do, why aren't you more successful? And I know that's a really, you know, it's like a harsh question. It's like, say, like saying, oh, if you're so good, why aren't you, you know, why aren't you a millionaire, Steve? You know, it, it's almost a question like that. And the, the answer to that is what will help you to take steps towards whatever level of business you want. So that, that's one point and a really, really important one. Ask yourself that question. You know, you know, if I'm so good, why aren't I more successful? Or another question might be, if I want to be more successful, what do I need to do? What do I need to change? Um, and uh, I got some thoughts to share with you uh, around that. 
Firstly, this is important. If you want to be a more successful coach, being a better coach probably ain't going to get you there. You know, going and doing a coaching qualification is, is fine, it's good. You want to be good at what you do. But I'm assuming that as you're listening to this, you're already good at what you do. You know, yeah, you could be better and so on and so forth. But what you really need to, to be is better at selling and marketing what you do. That's the truth. You know, if you've got skills, you know, uh, again, going back to the e-myth, Michael Gerber says in the e-myth that there are three sections to every business. There's operations, doing the work. So for you, it would be doing coaching. There's um, finance, managing the money, making sure you're getting paid, you know, cash flow and all that sort of stuff. And then there's the marketing and sales. You know, we've got to be good at generating leads and then converting those leads. And uh, Gerber says the reason why small businesses either fail, and I think it's around about 80% of them do fail within five years, um, or at least not fail to to get to the level that they would like to get to. So, uh, you know, if that's the case, then they're really the two areas often that businesses are lacking. They're not managing the financial side of the business as effectively as they could, and they're certainly not selling and marketing to the level that they would like. Because if you had it, had, had a, a stream of customers, you know, people who wanted coaching, you know, you, you, you'd you probably be okay, wouldn't you? You know, if you had the money, if you had the sales right now, you know, the, any other problems that you might have could quickly go away. You know, if you've got people problems because you really can't afford, you know, to do whatever, or you really need a new website, but you can't afford it right now, you know, things like that. If you had the money you know, money can solve a lot of business issues. Not always, and we can use the money on wrong things, don't get me wrong. I've done that many times myself over the years. But, you know, the bottom line is, if you've got money, you'd be more successful. So the question is, how do we get more money? We get more money two ways, by creating and converting leads. We also get money uh, by uh, looking at the three ways of growing a business. This is, again, a really important thing. Uh, Three ways of growing a business. Number one is get more customers. Number two is to increase the average transaction value. Thanks very much for the thumbs up, whoever that was. Thank you. Uh, Increase the average transaction value. Uh, Number three is to increase the frequency of repurchase. So in other words, if we give it a supermarket metaphor, you've got to get more people in the door of your supermarket. You've got to get them to fill their basket with more products or well not services in the supermarket but more products or and get them to buy more expensive products and then we've got to get them to come back to your supermarket again and again and again so you know there's two sides of it and these are you know what are you doing with your current clients to sell them additional services, to upsell them, sell them into a longer, you know, uh, program. So if you've got a six-week program, make it a 12-week program. You'll double your money from them. I know it sounds really simple, but it's blooming true, isn't it? You know, if you charge £200 and you increased it to £220 or £250, would it, you know, whatever you charge per hour, if you, you know, you charge £30 an hour and you increase that to £40 an hour, you're going to make 25% more money over time. And really, for most people, they don't really care what they pay for something. They just want it. It's like, you know, if I buy, I'm just looking around, this is the nearest thing I've got that I could pick up. I've got a nice leather folder here, a leather case. How much is that worth? Well, you know, if it was for sale at Harrods, it'd probably be, I don't know, maybe a couple of hundred pounds. You know, it's quite a nice one. It's proper leather and so on, you know. And uh, if it was for sale at somewhere like, I don't know, WH Smith or, a, you know, um, you know a, a medium department store, you know, you'd probably come down to like 60 pounds, something like that. If it was for sale at a boot fair, still brand new, still in the box, 
you know, you were looking at a fiver, you know. So where are you positioned? Because how you position yourself is massively important. By the way, there's a gr- another great book for you to buy. And I'm, I want to clarify, I'm not on commission here. I'm just trying to help you as much as I can. Uh, and that is uh, a book called A Key Person of Influence by a great guy called Daniel Priestley. Go and buy that book. Buy it on Amazon. Buy it wherever. I think if you contact Daniel, he, he, he sometimes gives them out. So, uh, But you can definitely get it on Amazon for, what, a tenner or something like that. Well worth doing because in it he talks about um you know how to how to position yourself as a coach and uh you know one of the keys is is writing a book if you've written a book (coughs) excuse me if you've written a book on whatever it is you deliver all of a sudden you're not just a coach you're a published author and your positioning is uh elevated the other thing that i know daniel talks about and i talk about a lot as well is niching You know, if you're calling yourself, uh, you know, I'm a life coach or I'm a business coach or I'm a business advisor, you know, you're like amongst like how many thousands? (laughs) It feels like hundreds of thousands sometimes, but you want to be more niched than that. Yeah, I'm a business uh, advisor who specializes in the hotel industry. Yeah, that's better than being a business advisor. Are you with me? Because you're a specialist. You know, so if I run a, a hotel, you know, would you would you go to somebody who says they're a business uh, um, a business advisor or somebody who says they're a business advisor who specialises in the hotel industry? Which would you go for? And if I said I was a business advisor who specialises in uh, uh, holiday destination hotels. You with me? That's like a super niche. That's like a niche within a niche. So, you know, all these things make a difference. And if you're thinking, oh, well, I'll lose out on all the other stuff. No, you won't. Because I can tell you now, you know, uh, well, if you if you look at it this way, how's what you're doing working out for you right now? You know, being a generalist. You know, if you're a generalist, how's it working out? You know, if you became more of a specialist or a real, you know, super niche specialist person, then, you know, I, I think you'd be more successful and certainly something you could test, you know. Um, you know, I, I work with a lot of coaches, consultants and advisors, but that doesn't mean I don't work with, a, you know, we've got a couple of companies who are software companies, but I, that's not what I typically will say, you know, I'm a software company marketing business growth specialist. You know, that's not what I say. I say, you know, I work mainly with coaches and consultants, people like that. So, you know, these things make a big difference. Now, here's another real point. If you're suffering with lack of sales, then lack of sales is not your problem. What your problem is, And, you know, I've been doing this 28 years now, and I'm telling you what the problem is for 95, I'm going to go even more, 99% of the time when I start working with businesses, they're suffering from this problem. So this also applies to coaches. It's not a lack of money. It's a lack of offers. It's a lack of offers. You're not making enough offers. I hear people all the time telling me things like, well, I'm on LinkedIn and, uh, you know, I post on there three times a week. Lack of offers. You're not doing enough. And I even hear people say, oh, well, you, you know, you shouldn't try to sell anything on LinkedIn. True, you shouldn't be just trying to sell anything. But why are you on there? The day I retire will be the day I close my LinkedIn account down. So I won't need it anymore. You know, I win over a hundred grand a year from LinkedIn, and I do that by putting in a lot of work on it. You know, I don't do it by posting once a fortnight. That's like going to the gym. You know, those of you, if we've got anybody on the call today who's a, a fitness 
coach. Um, you know, if if you got somebody who goes, you know, comes to you once a month and spends half an hour or an hour with you, and then doesn't ever do anything, they're probably not going to be fitter. They're not going to lose weight. They've got to do things on a con- consistency is the key. We all know that. You don't need me to tell you that consistency in any area of life is the key to success. You know, I I played table tennis uh, in my youth and in my twenties. Uh, professionally, I was one of the best players in the country, beat several of the world's leading players. And uh, how did I do that? Well, it wasn't because I was so talented. It was because I worked my blooming socks off. I really did. You know, I played every day. I played every day from being 13 to 18, every day, Christmas Day, holidays, you name it. I was out there in the snow in Sheffield running and stuff, you know, and, and it took a lot of effort. And uh, but, you know, that's why I got rewarded. And that's, you know, that's what I think you should do. So I, my advice on this at this point of my talk is, you know, make more offers. What sort of offers? Offers on LinkedIn. If you're doing emailing, get more emails out. Send more out. If you're doing Facebook, do more of it. You know, if you're turning up to networking events, go and do more networking events. If you're picking up the phone, and I hope you are, you need to pick up the phone more. Go and phone all your LinkedIn contacts and say, hi, my name is, and I'd like to offer you a free uh, 20-minute, you know, coaching review thingamy, whatever you want to call it, yeah? And don't just call it a, a meeting, you know, call it something. Give it a brand, give it a name. I call it a results review. See the T-shirt? Oh, it's that side. Sorry. Yeah, results mastery is is my brand for coaching. You need to think about that. Okay, so so build it around a brand, uh, not just you know I'm a life coach. No, I'm not a life coach. I'm a results mastery trainer and advisor. That sounds better, doesn't it, than being a life coach? Because that way I'm like everybody else. Does that make sense? I'm really hoping it does. So, uh, final thing. If you're just trading time for money, right? You know, whatever your rate is, £40 an hour, £50 an hour, £500 an hour, whatever your rate is, there's only so much money because there's only so much time. So start thinking about two things. One, building group-based uh, training. So, you know, if I do a group session, I could have 10 people in it, 20 people in it, 50 people in it. It doesn't really matter. You know, my results mastery program is, is £299 per month for people to attend, but I could have 20 people in it. I've not quite got, got that, but I could have. I could have 50 people possibly, but I don't think I'd ever go that big. I'd maybe set up another group. So I get one group full, 20 people, set up another group. Uh, and there's some real value there. And the, the last thing I want to say is the use of online. You know, when I say that, I mean online training. So set up an online training platform for you to then be able to upload videos and articles and information, tip sheets, you name it, set up a program that could be delivered to people all over the world and make money for you when you sleep. I know a lady, I'll not give her a name out because, you know, uh, I I just don't think I should, but I know a lady, this is absolutely 100% true, who's a coach. She's an advisor and she's got an online program and uh, she has got uh, 38,000 members who all all pay her £35 a month to be a member. Now, just in case you're working that out, it's something like £1.2 million per month. Uh, Yeah, per month, sorry, yeah. £1.2 million a month. I mean, give me a break. That's not enough to live on, but it's not a bad start, is it? You know, so, you know, why don't you do that? You know, if you charge somebody, you know, for me, I've, I've done this. I'm not, you know, telling you to do it and I haven't done it. I'm doing this and, you know, 
I'm nowhere near much, much. You know, she said it took her five years of effort to get any real traction, by the way. And she'd been doing it like 10, 15 years now. Um, But, uh, you know, I've set set up my goal. My goal is to get a thousand members at 35 pounds a month. That's 35 grand a month, guys. You know, there are 3.5 million businesses in the UK alone. All I need is a 1,000 of them to give me 35 quid. And uh, what do I have to do for that? Nothing. I've done all the work up front setting it up. And I don't have to do a single thing apart from maybe answering a few queries and dealing with a few technical issues and I don't know how to do this and so on and so forth. So this is where the money is, guys, in in our industry. Uh, Currently, uh, this industry, the online training course industry, is worth three and a half billion with a B. It's set to go to, in the next five years, seven and a half billion billion with a B. So do you want to be on that bandwagon or do you want to be exchanging time for money at 50 quid an hour? The choice is yours. If you want any more help from me, that finished now my main bit. If you want any more help, just give us a shout. There's, you know, no obligation. You know, it says on the scrolling thing below, book a free meeting and we'll have a chat. We'll talk about what you're doing, talk about what's working, what's not working and what to do about it. Uh, If you want to come along to my, sign up to my 35, it's actually $39, so it's about £35. Sign up to that, go to my website, you'll find it's called my university, just click on that, you gain access to all my experience, uh, over 250 videos covering a whole manner of different things. If you want to work with me on a one-to-one and a group basis, sign up to uh, Results Mastery or better still, give us, a, give us a call. We'll set up a quick Zoom meeting and I can answer any questions that you've got. Other than that, thanks very much for being here. I do appreciate your time. I hope it's been of value and uh, I look forward to uh, perhaps seeing you again uh, either on uh, Results Mastery or uh, one of my other uh, LinkedIn uh, live events, and uh, we'll speak soon. Thank you.